Hi everyone, this is Patty, and I'm here today with a design team project for Meg's Garden. What I've made is a gentleman's box, and I have used uh, Carrie Jean Watson's The Gentleman Collection papers throughout. I had a pre-made box with the lid that I purchased from uh, Joanne Fabrics and then I have altered it with the papers and this is what it looks like it's four by four by four in other words it's four wide and four high and four across so a complete square and then the lid is a little bit bigger I did use some metal embellishments from my own stash but I used the the mesh from Meg's and the dodo um, twine vine also here and the papers I took one of the papers the one that has the compass on it for my top and I went over it there you can see with glossy accents and then I attached the Tim Holtz doorknob and this key ring that I have I ran the dodo vine all the way around the outside and it ends right here. I was going to put a little something right here, but I haven't found just what I wanted yet. And I kind of like that look anyway. Uh, I colored the mesh and any of the wood or um, inking accents that I did. I used um, Vintage Photo by Tim Holtz Distress Stain and the Gathered Twigs by um, Tim Holtz and then I did go over the mesh with this um, Lindy Stamp Gang in the Mission Bells um, brown. So let me show you the rest of it. Here's the inside of the box. This is the paper from uh, the paper line. I love this paper line. Each side has the um, the stain, the distress stain on the sides with the paper in the middle. On this one now, this is probably my favorite. Let me zoom in so you can see this and what I've done here. There's a little piece, cutout piece in the paper that has all of these pin nibs in them. So I cut it out and then fussy cut around each one of the nibs. This I think is a Prima piece, a uh, metal piece. So I put the clock face in the middle and then I put the pin nibs facing all the way in. And then I went back and put, see if I get there. The glossy accents on them so they're all very um, you can see how dimensional they are and raised on the bottom here I have taken and put this is a piece of um, actually what it is it's to go in your drawer liners to keep your things from moving around in the drawers but I thought it would be really great on the bottom of this box because it keeps it from skidding at all. It won't move as it's sitting on a table or something. Okay, let me zoom back out again because that's way too close now. There we go. Trying to not have you see my messy table here. Now inside the box I have four coasters. These are covered with the paper and what they are is they're four inch by three and three quarter inch um, chipboard and I cut three pieces and I glued them all together and I used a new glue this time this is the Ivy Hollow scrap fusion glue it's worked wonderfully I mean you don't have to use very much in it really really glued them very well together and then I put Mod Podge just main Mod Podge over the top of them so that if they got water or coffee or whatever on them it wouldn't hurt them of course the coffee would make them look each even better because it would give that aged look to it um, I rounded the corners with my half inch corner chomper and there are four of these coasters in the gentleman's box the next thing in the gentleman's box is a matchbook like um, for note paper this is what it looks on the back and the front. This is a cutout from the paper. And when you open it up, then you've got this neat little pad of paper to pull from. And then it just pops behind here 
and down and I just searched YouTube videos for an idea of how to make it and then went from there. I did round the corners and I inked it heavily with the gathered twig distressings. So that's the second thing in the box. The last thing in the box is a deck of cards. This has all been um, distressed and covered with the papers. And I wanted to have um, a set of poker chips in here because I just thought that went with the cards. It would make a nice gift. But I just wasn't able to find them in time to get them in the box. So that would be the last addition that I would have to the box. So there's my project. I hope you like it. I hope it gives you an idea about a different way to use the paper line. These papers are absolutely gorgeous. I just love them. This only goes one way, if you can tell here. There we go. And then this. And then the lid goes on. Let's see. Here's my front with a little metal piece. I did put metal corners. This was a piece that I cut in half and then attach with uh, Fabri-Tac, Beacon's Fabri-Tac on it. And then this sits on the top. So there we are. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll have lots of still photos at the end of the video. Be sure and check out Meg's Garden Boutique. I will leave the link to her blog and to her store in the About section under my video. Thanks a lot, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>